This is the Galaxy S23 Ultra, and it's a pretty good phone by default. But here are 20 apps that can really level up your experience by making this phone more aesthetic and unlocking more incredible features. And many of these are applicable to other Samsung and Android phones too. Okay, so I think a super cool way to improve the user experience, at least from a visual perspective, is with live wallpapers. Now, the default ones are not the most inspiring, and honestly, it's kind of hard to find good live wallpapers. But I found this app called Ice Galaxy that will give you a pretty incredible looking live wallpaper. It's supposed to be low power draw, and it's also super high res, so it's perfect for the S23 Ultra's 2K display. And I think it just looks so mesmerizing especially on this OLED screen. Now, the app itself is very, very simplistic. It's literally just one page. But actually, the developer has made many other similar live wallpapers. They're all their own app. I did go through and explore them, and there's a few other ones that I think are worth checking out. For example, there's the stars one, which just looks amazing. Also, the blob, which has this very satisfying movement. And same with this zigzag one. But yeah, I've been really loving these live wallpapers. They just make my home screen and lock screen look so cool. But if you want to make your home screen more functional, then high quality widgets are the way to go. The app Overdrop provides these weather widgets in many different styles and they display a lot of information. So just at a glance, I can know exactly what to expect with the weather, which has been very unpredictable lately. And actually most of the widgets on my home screen are from Overdrop because it also has widgets that display the date, the time, and the battery. And I love how they look. They're like super clean, but still with an interesting design. And these are the current ones that I'm using on my home screen. But it doesn't end there with Overdrop. You can also use this app as just a regular weather app. It provides lots of great information and the layout is very aesthetic too. One thing that I always felt like was missing from the always on display is a media control bar. I think it'll be nice to, for example, be able to see how far along I'm into a podcast. But the Movis Edge app can solve this. With this thing, I can get a media control bar directly displayed on my always on display. So I can see the progress and also pause and skip tracks. This has been quite useful, but also this app provides a bunch of different clock styles that you can use for the AOD. There are ones that look like they came straight from the Google Pixel. My personal favorite one is probably this one that looks like the solar system. And also this one is pretty interesting because the font just reminds me of the brand Nothing. And for each of these styles, you can further customize the colors as well as the clock size. And another cool thing that you can get with this app are these bars that react to whatever's playing on the phone. There's a few different styles to choose from and you can also change up the colors. You can set it so that these bars show up everywhere on your home screen on top of other apps. This way, whenever your phone starts playing audio, these dancing bars will just show up. This thing isn't particularly useful, but I think the bars are super fun. Have you seen this alarm clock with wheels that literally runs away from you and thought, maybe I need this in my life? Well, with the Alarmy app, you can kind of get the same effect. Alarmy is a pretty unique alarm clock in that in order to turn it off, you have to complete a mission, so like a math or memory problem. You might find this very useful for when you need to wake up at an abnormal time, like when you need to catch a red-eye flight or if you're trying to fight jet lag. I have to say this alarm clock definitely wakes me up more effectively because because after needing to use my brain to solve the problems, I'm just much more likely to actually stay awake. All right, so have you ever wanted to take nice pictures, but the sky is just not cooperating? It really does suck when I travel somewhere, but the sky just becomes gloomy and overcast. But I found this app called Picnic that can just completely replace the sky, and it can even do it in real time as you're taking the photo. There's a bunch of different skies to choose from, like a bright sunny day with some clouds. There's also this twilight look and this pretty cool starry night look. And of course you can do this for existing photos too. So like I can make this look like snow at the beach or I can just add in more clouds into the sky. And there are also these dials that you can adjust. So I think you can actually get a very realistic looking result. Overall, I find this app super fun to play with. It's pretty cool to see what my photos would look like with different skies. And number six. So the S23 Ultra definitely comes 
comes with some pretty insane cameras, but to further improve your photos, you can try installing some filters. There are filters in the Galaxy Store that you can download and then use directly in Samsung's default camera and photo gallery app. And there are a whole bunch of filter options. I quite like this one called Soul, but yeah, you might like using filters if you want your photos to have a more uniform look. But also, if you don't like it, you can always remove it, even if you took the picture with it on. So the flexibility is pretty good there. Before we continue, a quick message from today's video sponsor, Epidemic Sound, which is what I use to find music and sound effects for my videos without having to worry about copyright strikes or takedowns. Epidemic Sound has a huge library of professionally produced music and sound effects, with new tracks added every week. I find that music and sound effects can help make my videos much more engaging, and I like to search by mood to convey different feelings throughout my video. Epidemic Sound has licenses that are ideal for content creators and businesses, and you can click the link down below to get a free 30-day trial plus 25% off the annual subscription with my code CVLA25. Everything that you post during your trial is protected even if you cancel. Do you ever want the volume to be like right in between two volume steps? I personally felt that all the time, and I found a way to change the volume step in the Sound Assistant app from Good Luck. There are 10 different step sizes here, which is a great variety. Right now I have it set to three, which is much better for me than the default. But in this app, you might also find it helpful to be able to change some of the settings related to the standard and expanded volume panels. And next, so one just slightly annoying thing about the S23 Ultra is that it does 45 watt fast charging, but not every brick supports it. And even bricks that you think should, like this 96 watt MacBook brick, might actually actually not do it. The app Ampere is a great way to check whether your charger is actually charging as fast as you expect. So here you can see the 96 watt MacBook brick is actually only providing about 18 watts. Kind of a scam, but at least I can verify that this 45 watt brick is actually providing the full 45 watts. And once you figured out how fast you're charging, you can make it more fun with the True Amps app. This thing gives you a cool little animation when the phone is charging. There's lots of options to choose from, and you can even customize the colors. Currently, I'm using this one, and honestly, it's pretty satisfying to look at. Have you ever wished that your phone could say something to you when you plug it in? No? Well, you can do it anyway with the Battery Sound app. This thing lets you set a sound or a text-to-speech to play whenever you plug the phone in. You can also enable it for unplugging the phone or when it's fully charged or at a low battery. Nice. This thing is pretty funny, and I actually think the low battery audible warning can maybe be useful too. And number 11 is the Zedge app. So this thing is a pretty popular wallpaper app, but actually there are many great ringtones and notification sounds in there as well. I could even find many mainstream songs here, like Jisoo's Flower, and even the noise that Yoshi makes. <laughs> which is just such a niche thing, but as someone who loves Mario Kart, I do appreciate it. And next, so probably the best way to set physical shortcuts on this phone is with an app that's made by Samsung, but it's kind of hidden. This app is called Registar, it's from Goodlock. In here, you can set actions for when you tap the back of the phone, as well as when you press and hold on the side key, which is also the power button. Right now, as you can see, I've set my side key to turn on and off the flashlight quickly. And for tapping, so double tap opens up my camera app and triple tapping opens up my gallery. Especially with gloves on, it can be hard to interact with the screen, so having these physical shortcuts just gives you a way to access what you need even when you can't easily touch the screen. All right, and there are actually quite a few more hidden ways to customize your home screen. The Home Up app from Goodlock gives you more control over exactly how the home screen looks. And here are the ways that I like to customize it. I like to change the folder to be pop-up style instead of fully opening. That just feels much faster, and I also like to change the recent app's views to be a slim list, which I think makes it easier to find the app that I'm trying to go to. I think these customizations improve the functionality, and hopefully you found some of these useful too. And number 14. So if you're a fan of 2D art, then you have to check out this wallpaper app called Backdrops. There are lots of great looking, simple, static wallpapers. I found this one called Town Square, and I think it looks so cute. And setting one as the wallpaper just takes one click, so it's very convenient. 
and the resolution of them are approximately 2K, so it's also perfect for the S23 Ultra screen. All right, so this next one is kind of a life hack. The black screen app essentially lets you turn the screen of the phone off by tapping this floating button. So if you're using YouTube to listen to music or a podcast, then you can turn the screen off with this button, but it will still continue to play whatever you're listening to. So this is kind of a way to get the screen off play on YouTube without YouTube Premium. All right, so I know I already showed a few types of wallpapers in this video, but the ones from Holepix wallpaper are truly unique. Each of them are designed specifically around the hole punch camera on the S23 Ultra. They also have support for the S23. Some of these really play into the hole punch while others kind of try to hide it. But yeah, they all look pretty funny and there are even some live ones that look pretty cool. And number 17 is an app called Focus. This is meant to help you stay focused while you're working. It's a Pomodoro style timer that plants a tree when you start it. And there's a few different types to choose from. But if you give up, then your tree will just die. So it's like an extra encouragement to not stop working. And it also gives you these little messages. Overall, I find this a good companion for when I'm trying to do focused work. And next, so the S23 Ultra's S Pen is quite useful and I've covered it in a previous video, but one more fun way of using it is coloring. There's actually a coloring app that's installed by default called Pen Up. There are many of these templates to choose from and it gets updated often as well. I find coloring these things very satisfying. The pen tracking is very good and I think it's a good way to spend like a quick five to 10 minute break in the middle of a work day instead of scrolling on Instagram or TikTok because those things just distract me much more. All right, and this next app is called AR Doodle. It's actually pre-installed, but you might not have paid attention to it. I recently revisited this app and I think it's underrated because it's actually super fun. So you can draw on a subject and also put stickers around them and then those will move with the subject. This app is super fun and I definitely think it's worth checking out. All right, and this last app is very cool. It's called AI Mirror and you can use it to turn your pictures into various cartoons styles. I tried it on a bunch of my pictures and sometimes it gives really cool looking results. I hope you enjoyed this video. All of the links will be down below and you can watch more from me here.